Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Well, I know everybody's excited for this weekend, even though we already had a fantastic weekend with the 4th of July. Now we got some more activities going on, especially here in Marietta, because as we take a look at the Jandil Sky Cam, we can see them kind of starting to set up the riverfront roar right now. Not too much activity. Most of the boats aren't going to be there until around 1 to 5 o'clock. So, hey, at least the good news is we're staying dry. Just stuck with a lot of cloud cover, and that's been keeping our temperatures relatively steady. We we're already in the low 70s this morning, and those dew points continue to stay steady as well. So not too comfortable out there, but we'll start to see some slight improvements for the weekend, but we'll go over that in just a moment. First, let's get rid of this cloud cover and satellite is showing that yes, that is going to be the case even towards the north of Washington County around Caldwell. They're starting to see a little bit more sunshine and that's the case along I-70. So that is starting to get a little bit better for the afternoon, but that does mean with the sunshine, we're going to be seeing our temperatures increasing a little bit in this cold front really is not going to be helping us in the temperature department but that dew point yeah we're going to be seeing some slight improvement and you can notice how it's so much better up in toledo cleveland upper 50s but still a little bit sticky into columbus low 70s and yeah i wish i was in cincinnati right now enjoying the low 60s feeling a little bit more comfortable that that's going to be bring our heat index up into the upper 80s through the evening, six o'clock, probably a lot of people in downtown Marietta gonna have to watch out for that. Make sure you are drinking plenty of water, even through Saturday and Sunday. We're still gonna be seeing our dew points hovering around the low 60s to mid 60s for Saturday. So, hey, that is a lot better than the past two days. But Sunday, that's when we'll bump that up closer to the low 70s. But that's also going to be coinciding with that chance of rain returning into the forecast. So let's dive right into that. So future cast showing nothing really going on for the afternoon. Most of the showers just staying around the panhandle of West Virginia, Northern Virginia, and even into Pennsylvania. So not going to be an issue for us. A stray shower may be possible, but that chance is going to be really, really low, but still Watch out for that into the afternoon evening, looking a whole lot better. And that's going to be the case rolling into Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, plenty of sunshine, a few clouds here and there. Most of the rain chances off towards the west, even though it does look like it's going to be coming towards the middle Ohio Valley. We'll start to see that really fall apart and stay around I-70 towards the north of us. It's not an issue until late Saturday night and into Sunday morning, but that is when we'll start to see some more scattered showers, even the potential for some thunderstorms to develop. And you'll have to watch out for Sunday. One, there is that chance for severe weather. We do have a marginal risk with the main threat being damaging winds, but the atmosphere is not really going to be that active that day. Really, the main concern is going to be the heavy rain. And just for example, compared to yesterday, one thunderstorm over the Middle Ohio Valley Airport produced about an inch and a half of rain. And if you're curious, that's going to be slightly above average for this time of month already. So that's where the eyes are going to be pointed towards heading into the weekend is just going to be really focused for Sunday, Alexa. But the start of next week looking a whole lot better. Yeah, it's looking really good. I like that there's a couple of, you know, clear skies in the in the future ahead of us. And yeah. I know this weekend we've been talking yeah. about all the different things. There's the uh, Riverfront Roar, Riverfront like Roar First Friday is kind of kicking it off tonight. And then the Jandil um, Virtual 5K. 5K yeah. There's also a 5K tomorrow. Yeah, I think it ends. It ends tonight today. or tomorrow today yes we have all that over on our website yeah. too so if you want a full list of all the really fun things you can do this weekend to kind and of and also keep an update that. on the weather yes WTAB.com. <laughs> WTAB.com. <laughs> well thank you so much for that henry but coming up after